My name is Calvin McComber. Let me tell you my life story. My story started on August 22, 1885, in Hyde Park, Utah. My father Orange McComber was from New York, but was a distant father. My mother Marinda Griffith was born in 1857, in Fairfield, Utah. My parents separated around 1890. We moved to Star Valley, Wyoming, where I spent my younger years. We lived at my grandparents' home from 6 to 11 years old. It was my chore to get the wood and coal in each evening, milk the cows, and feed the pigs and chickens. My only full sibling Min died at 20 months old. My mother married Arthur Benjamin Clark in 1903 in Star Valley. For months after, we moved to the Dublon, Mexico, to the Mormon colonies. I met a girl that attracted my attention. Her name was Axie Stout and we met at a church dance. We studied at Juarez Stake Academy together. This photo is of our graduation. We eventually married on June 24, 1909 at her home. We later took the train to the Salt Lake Temple to be sealed for all eternity on October 7, 1909. Then we stayed a short time in Groveland, Idaho where our first child, Calvin Jr., was born. Here he is with Grandma Marinda. We went back to the colonies of Mexico as soon as we could afford it. I bought 20 acres in Guadalupe from David Stout. My second son Emerson was born, but shortly after there was political unrest from the Mexican Revolution. We were forced to leave our happy farm in 1912, which caused us much loss and sorry. As refugees, we were happy for the hospitality of El Paso and thanked the Lord to be under the U.S. flag. I helped escort my arthritic mother, Marinda, my wife Axie, my two young boys, and some of Axie's family out to Logan. After a two-year stay in Logan, we tried to farm in Oakley, Idaho for 11 years, but due to the unsuccessful dam, our crops were meager. It was a hard time to survive in Oakley. Our finances were in reverse while our family was increasing. We added five more sons to our family. We obtained whey from the local cheese factory for food. We then ventured to Pocatello in 1925 and later started a dairy farm. I also did carpentry. Here is a family picture with our children Calvin, George, Arthur, Farrell, Winston, Adrian, David and Velma. Our family was an ordinary LDS group. All of our kids married in the temple and six went on missions and some served in the U.S. military during World War II. My children learned hard work during the Great Depression. We set up a good Guernsey herd and built a profitable business, selling milk and cream. We purchased the house we built and lived there for 30 years. In our later years, we served in Tampa, Florida in the Southern States Mission and also to the Bannock Creek Indians. I was called as a patriarch in two stakes and gave 2,174 blessings. We moved near the Salt Lake Temple in 1958. Our 50th wedding anniversary was very memorable in 1959. I was happy that so much of the family came for the occasion. Due to sugar diabetes and ill health, we moved to live with my daughter Velma in California. I died on November 20, 1969 in Palo Alto. Our tombstone is at Wasatch Lawn Memorial Park in Mill Creek, Utah. I'm glad I shared my life story with you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. Farewell.